in this video i am going to discuss with you what is a scintillation counter on what principle does this work what are main parts of scintillation counter of what scintillator part is made how does this counter work first of all what is the definition of a scintillation counter it is nothing but a detector of high energy radiations now let us see what is the principle of working of a scintillation counter when high energy radiations are made incident on a surface coated with some fluorescent material then scintillations that is flashes of light are produced these flashes of light are then detected with the help of a photo multiplier tube that gives rise to equivalent electric pulse now let us come to various major parts of scintillation counter in the form of block diagram scintillation counter mainly consists of three parts number 1 scintillator number 2 photo multiplier tube number 3 is counter scintillator and photo multiplier tube can be collectively known as scintillation head now let us discuss these three parts one by one first of all let us come to scintillator a scintillator is made from a single crystal this single crystal should have some important characteristics to act as a scintillator first of all it should be available in a proper form it should have high efficiency to convert energy of incident radiations into light flashes the crystal should be transparent to light so that maximum scintillations emitted by it can reach the photo multiplier tube the crystal should have suitable value of refractive index so that total internal reflection of light does not take place inside the crystal otherwise light energy will be wasted the next important characteristic it should have is that the resolving power of crystal should be very high so that it should be able to distinguish radiations of different frequencies the crystal should be stable under various experimental conditions based on these required characteristics many types of crystals are used as scintillator let me share with you a few of them cesium iodide crystal is used for detection of gamma rays zinc sulfide is used for detection of heavy particles organic phosphorus also detect gamma rays xenon is used for detection of heavy particles and it also to be noted that it gives ultraviolet radiations not uh, visible light the most popular crystal that is used as scintillator is thallium activated sodium iodide 
because it has more efficiency in comparison to other crystals which are used for this purpose but in this crystal the major drawback is that it is hygroscopic in nature that is it can get spoiled due to moisture due to this reason this crystal is sealed in an airtight aluminum can which is coated with magnesium oxide acting as a reflector now let us see how does this photomultiplier tube works a photomultiplier tube is an evacuated glass tube which has about 10 electrodes popularly known as dynodes these electrodes are specially designed and are properly positioned so that automatic focusing of electrons can take place each dynode has a photosensitive surface and performs two functions one is collection of photoelectrons coming from previous dynode and the second function is emission of several low energy electrons due to incident electron the potential of dynodes is kept in the increasing order as we move from cathode to anode so that electrons emitted by a dynode get accelerated to the next dynode so we can say a photomultiplier tube converts light energy into electrical energy now let us come to working of a scintillation counter the window made of pyrex glass allows the radiations to enter the scintillation counter when high energy radiations strike the crystal inside the scintillator short duration scintillations that is flashes of light are emitted by the crystal the photons of light emitted by the scintillator are then made to strike the cathode of photomultiplier tube through an optical coupling this optical coupling is made of a special fluid the photoelectrons emitted from surface of cathode are directed towards first dynode that gives rise to secondary emission of electrons with uh, about uh, zero velocity the secondary electrons emitted from surface of first dynode get accelerated towards second dynode which is uh, kept at higher potential in comparison to first this process repeats up to last dynode and the electrons get much more multiplied in number when they reach the anode a high energy pulse is delivered to the counting device through the anode the anode is also called collector of pm tube the electric pulse from pm tube is amplified and is then delivered to electronic counting device after passing through a discriminator the discriminator removes the undesired noise pulses thanks a lot i expect comments from the viewers and i will try to respond to those comments also